so hello everyone and welcome to college junior presents like thoughts on education today we have with us uh, brother stanny who is the principal here at st francis institute of art and design he is a phd holder in psychology and he is a working architect himself welcome brother stanny to the show thank you so i'm going to start with the first question you have held key positions at education institutes throughout your professional career so what are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector first of all i am happy to be a brother in st francis campus and we have the legacy which was given by our forefathers we are going ahead with the and 114 years of past history franciscan brothers are having in mount point sir almost eight streams of education giving professional career and one among is the st francis institute of art and design overall the campus is comprises of 15000 students who is pursuing their education from kg to phd level and the key point of franciscan brothers in the campus is the discipline and value based quality education leadership skill on the pre- entrepreneurship and the employability is made it sure okay mm-hmm. so being the principal of st francis institute of art and design what is your philosophy of leadership like how would you describe your leadership style i personally believe a student centric quality education which can be cut across the boundaries of the world and a holistic concept of growth and leadership skill which is enhanced and promoted in the campus at the same time this can we the san francis group of institution give individual attention and individual concern towards each and every child okay mm mm-hmm. So being the principal of St Francis Institute of Art and Design how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and administration of your institute uh, to be honest to to identify the requirements considering the environmental factors professional design standards and economic considerations as our first step towards the interior industry and the educational campus in mumbai at the same time to develop an aesthetic ability and to critique a variety of design communication and to visual format we also focused to master the master plan of space for habitation and commerce mm-hmm. okay so the education systems in india and other foreign countries are structured very differently so in your experience what can an inbound student gain from studying here in your college so in francis group of institutions are international contests and we work a- across the globe and we come to know that the foreign system of education are more on student centric whereas in india it is teachers or prof- professors centric we are in tune with the changes what is happening in the globe and we are in the path of student centric education okay mm-hmm. so uh, how does the curriculum of st francis institute of art and design ensure the best practice of industry in the first place our syllabus is the first to proof which has completely different from all over india of a interior design education we are more focused on the students holistic development where design philosophy project management and dissert- dissertation based uh, education where the research become a prime solution for the students to solve the problem and help out the people of india okay mm-hmm. 
So are there any insights into how your institute could be more welcoming to students of different races or economic backgrounds? Uh, of course. The uh, fee structure itself shows in Indian contests, especially in Mumbai, the lowest fee structure is given by the San Francis group of institution. And at the same time, the well-maintained is infrastructure. We are also having the children taught not only to the syllabus, rather the other area of education where child children are supposed to go develop a holistic development and personality character. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you think your roles and responsibilities to the institute and the students are? It is said by Mahatma Gandhi, the future of India lies in its villages. And we, the Franciscan brothers, are working in a multi-dimensional way, both the city and villages, where we focus the post both the category of student in a one platform. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think should be the institute's top priority over the next 10 years? Uh, we focus the discipline and the value-based education as the first focus. At the same time, student-centric education pattern to be followed in the campus. We also accommodate the children uh, in the campus, even free education system. And over and above, children who deserve the studies with the accommodation, food that uh, provided in the college itself. Mm -hmm. So brother, when you first came to St. Francis Institute of Art and Design, what was your vision for the college? Like has it evolved over time and how far along in implementing that vision are you? Uh, as I asked the, the, you are mentioning me, I was a psychologist and pursued my uh, PhD in uh, psychology. My vision towards education was partly di different when I came to the, in the architectural industry. There made me a, a slight changes looking towards the industry. And the first choice of mine was selecting a process, uh, a smart process, who are not only looking at the money aspect, rather than that, who are re ready to dedicate their life for the children of India. And second pri priority, I was fully involved in the teaching rather than a principal and the students are uh, uh, good friends to me. And the third phase, the syllabus as we have mentioned of, uh, we focused on the industry based syllabus rather than the just uh, university syllabus and job security was our priority. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what would you like people to know about your institute that they may not know? Uh, uh, as I am coming from a Franciscan background, uh, in our core system, the student is supposed to grow uh, in a holistic development where the Franciscan ideas of uh, fraternity, peace and joy was focused on each and every student so that they were to be able to relate people with the peace and joy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you see as your institute's greatest strengths? I believe that is the strength of ours is the unity between the students, community and the process. Also the office uh, involved in each and every program and unity is our strength. Okay. And for the last question, so what are some of the biggest challenges you see both for like higher education in general and for St. Francis Institute of Art and Design specifically. And in general, we are taking the highest challenge in the design industry is facing. The universities are not providing the ample opportunity for the students for the higher education. That is no post-graduation programs are held in the university base. Whereas the graduate program also is in the process. But when it comes to St. Francis Institute of Art and Design, we come across there are many children whose uh, economic background is very poor and they were not even able to pay the minimum fees is concerned. 
we have taken even challenges for the students to enter in the campus and with the minimum fees uh, we were able to provide the education where the process who are dedicated we will be able to provide a minimum of students to be in this campus thank you okay thank you so much brother stanny for this thank you thank you for your time and the interview was lovely uh, any words you would like to say to the viewers uh, i want to say the viewers and the students imagination inspiration and commitment is the excel of creativity that is what is needed for india and india the people who are enjoying the interior spaces thank you god bless you